No grades to take, gentlemen. Just take a stroll. There it is. stride, their own pace. Mr. Pitts, Pitts, taking his time. He knew he'll get there one day. Mr. Cameron, you can see him thinking, is this right? It might be right, it might be right. I know that, maybe not, I don't know. Mr. Overstreet, driven by a deeper force. Yes. We know that, all right. Now, I didn't bring them up here to ridicule them. I brought them up here to illustrate the point of conformity, the difficulty in maintaining your own beliefs in the face of others. Now, those of you, I see the look in your eyes like, I would have walked differently. Well, ask yourselves why you are clapping. Now, we all have a great need for acceptance, but you must trust that your beliefs are unique, your own, even though others may think them odd or unpopular, even though the herd may go, that's bad. <laughs> Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in the wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Now, I want you to find your own walk right now your own way of striding, pacing, any direction, anything you want, whether it's proud, whether it's silly, anything. Gentlemen, the courtyard is yours. You don't have to perform, you can make it for yourself. Mr. Dalton, you'll be joining us. Exercising the right not to walk. Thank you, Mr. Dalton. Just illustrate the point. Swim against the stream. 